So I want to show you how to make three different styles of bracelets. Take a look, these use a lot of different techniques. There's a charm bracelet where you just use jump rings. There's a stringing bracelet that's asymmetrical with chain. And then this is a linked bead bracelet also using chain and creating your own beaded chain. So we'll start out with the stringing bracelet. And these beads are strung onto beading wire. And then I'm just going to use a crimp tube to attach it to one end of the chain. And the way that you um, work with chain that's unsoldered, see how it has a little seam there? I always like to just turn that so that the seam is not where you attach your beading wire. And then you'll make it tight enough that it won't really want to slide around there on the chain, just like that. Now, I'm also using antique brass crimp tubes that match the chain. I'd like to create that coordinating effect. So for crimping, you do one step where you make a little fold in the middle of the crimp, like this. And you want to make sure that your wires are on separate sides of the crimp. And then you come in with the outer jaws of the crimping tool and squeeze it together and that makes it nice and round. And I like to use crimp tubes at the clasp because they have more surface contact with the wire. So you do the same thing on the other end. And also when you're working with unsoldered chain, what's nice about it is you can pry it apart rather than cutting through it. If you're in a hurry to cut it with a thick chain like this, you would probably want to use your memory wire shears or another type of heavy duty shear. You just measure it, the length that you want your finished bracelet, and then you can open one of the links with your chain nose pliers. And I put the pliers inside and just pop it open like that, and remove that piece, and disassemble just this end of the chain so that you have a place to attach your clasp. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get to the finished bracelet, because I wanted to make sure to show you how to make beaded links. So on beaded links, what you do is slide a bead onto your eye pin and then bend it against the top of the bead, trim it to a finger's width, use your round nose pliers to make a loop. Then you're going to link this one to some that I already put together. You want to make nine or ten of these and then you'll measure your chain to equal the finished length of your bracelet. So make another one, bend it again, again trim to a finger's width, use your round nose pliers, and just bend that into a loop and attach it to your beaded chain. And then what you can do is collect both of these beaded chains onto a jump ring that's attached to one end of your chain. So I put this jump ring on here and then I'll open it up Let's find the seam. There it is. And slide the two linked beads on as well. And you can even add some decorative elements here. These cute little charms would be fun. And then close, we'll add one more. More is more. And then use your chain nose pliers to close that up. Now at the other side, so you can see the structure of the bracelet, the way that it will look is two chains on one side and then two bead chains on the other side. So you want to make sure that this is the desired length of your bracelet. And then you can attach a clasp using a jump ring and collecting those pieces together on the other side. So you can also add decorative charms there as well. And for fastening, a lot of times I will just fasten the clasp directly to the chain or you can add a jump ring here. And you can also use a jump ring to attach a little decoration at the other end of the bracelet to fasten it to. So let me show you one more way that you can embellish chain and make really fun bracelets. So see how we have so much leftover chain over here? I would just measure out the length that fits around my wrist and then use the same technique to attach jump rings to the end, a clasp on half of the clasp on each end. And then you can go through and layer charms into this chain. And what you'll want to do is just make sure that your charms are attached to jump rings that are big enough to go over the wide edges of this style of chain and then slide them onto it and then close them up. And basically when you create a charm bracelet like this, it's all about layering. So layer all of the elements into it um, and you do the biggest ones first. So these are all pretty close to the same size and I've got some cute little pre-made charms and bead 
dangles and stuff here. And you can layer them across the bracelet evenly spaced. And if you take a look at the finished bracelet, let me show you what I'm talking about here with the layering. So see the flowers, how they're kind of evenly spaced through the bracelet here? Then you can fill in with these other smaller elements. And by adding faceted beads too, you get a lot of fun movement and sparkle. And like I mentioned on the stringing bracelet, you can see the toggles, half of each end is attached, one to the stringing portion and one to the chain. So these are some fun ideas for creating bracelets that look really great stacked together on your wrist.